on Highland Avenue, only two blocks from the hospital. This is number 32 with a glass vestibule on the front. It can be a three apartment or a single family residence. It's a hard working home. Beautiful lines, maintained, and a key location. Pretty private for in town too. You've got shade trees, lots of maples and beaches for privacy. And you have space for flowers and an open porch for summer living. Let's check out the first floor. The first floor kitchen has all the built-ins. It comes with all the appliances. There's a new floor. It's a floating floor that are pretty indestructible and easy to keep clean. And there's a dining area. Off the kitchen, which is pretty handy, is a full bath with an oversized double shower. There's also a closet, which comes in pretty handy. This home has a lot of closets. Let's wander through the rest of the first floor. Here's the den, or the dining room. This was actually the dining room that was open because of the family dynamic. The French door goes into the front hall, but you'll see there's an archway. This could be closed back off so that it's a den and a formal dining room. It's all used as almost their living room because they use the front parlor as a first floor bedroom, so everything's on first floor. Through the bookcases, you go into that front parlor that has a beautiful hardwood floor. It has a French door to the front hall foyer that's off that glass vestibule on the entry. The big 50 inch screen that's in the den stays with the place. It's a Sanyo. That's your first floor. That could be an apartment in itself. This is where the trick-or-treaters come in. Put on your shoes before you go for a walk. You add some class to the front of the home. If you wanted a, another bedroom for the first floor landlord, you could take one of the bedrooms upstairs. This front bedroom very easily could go with the first floor, or it could be the second floor apartment. Full second story, no eaves, and it has a closet. If you don't use the whole home, the rest of it can be all gravy to help make the monthly payment. The second floor can be closed off for the unit that you're going to rent out. Okay, in the second floor apartment, hardwood floors, this gets a lot of southern exposure, and there's a closet in this bedroom. It's right across the hall from another bedroom that has more hardwood flooring, no rugs to maintain. Everybody has allergies these days, so hardwood floors are the way to roll. Comfortable rooms neat and clean. The bathroom has a pedestal sink, a tub and a shower. So you've got three bathrooms in the whole home. This would be an upstairs den or a rec room for the kids or another living room or it's the living room for the second floor apartment. They use it as a spacious bedroom for company. This is the little kitchen. It has a refrigerator and a stove and a rear entry couple closets and storage which is unheard of in a rental and that's the back stairway. So the tenant would come right in the back of the home and we can help you find a good one. Okay we're back in the front of the house and going up to the third floor efficiency. Everything you need up in the crow's nest, the penthouse apartment, this would be your efficiency. Your living room and dining area right up front. Here's looking back across to give you an idea of the space. The bathroom has a shower. And there is a bedroom. This would be all you'd need for a bedroom that has a view in case you have a telescope. And there is a closet, which obviously storage is always a premium in an apartment. And a rear door. Or it's an attic in case you want a place to put your Christmas lights, luggage, things you don't use all the time. This is your workshop. It could be a garage, it was before, and they've got it for storage or to work on something, or for storage of your sporting items, fishing rods. Hi, Main Realtor Andy Moores. Thanks for listening and watching the Main Real Estate Channel.
A three unit in the 80s, it's a good deal.